That one could have gone either way. Nobody has anything to be ashamed of. Now, don't go anywhere. We have a classic coming up. I'm not going anywhere. We have Dean Ambrose versus Heath Slater. Man, the electricity is running through this entire arena. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Michael Cole alongside Jerry the King Lawler here at Ringside and King. Tonight should be extremely exciting. Well, you said it, Cole. It looks like we don't have to wait long for the action to start either. Let's go. The WWE Universe is going to love this one. And there's the neckbreaker. Good luck turning your head after that one. Yeah, you have a stiff neck for weeks. He almost took his head off with that lariat. Let's touch on Heath Slater a bit. You're the so-called expert, so what can we expect from him tonight? You never want to end on the short of the stick, but if it happens in the beginning of a match, at least you have time to get things back on track. The WWE of today is stacked with the talent the WWE has not seen in quite some time, and he seems to really hold his own in the mix. You know, they can spend all day outside the ring if they want, Cole. Yeah, and thank goodness, I don't think this official can count to ten. The ring may not be big enough for what's about to unfold here. Are you kidding me? This entire arena may not be big enough. King, if matches were won by arrogance alone, Heath Slater would be a first ballot Hall of Famer. You're right about that, Cole. I'd go so far as to say Heath Slater's annoyingly arrogant. You know, there's a reason why he's a one-man band. Nobody else wants to hang out with him. Now, why did he do that? A move like that's low. It's appalling, if you ask me. Totally disrespectful. Well, when he sees the belt, he likes to hit below it. Wisely bringing the action back into the ring. Yeah, very, very smart move. Look, Dean Ambrose. He looks like he's got this. Shoulders down, is it enough? This may be it. Not only is he so arrogant as we spoke. Here's the pin. It's over. It's all over. Here's your winner, Dean Ambrose. Singles action is up next. You're not going to want to miss this. Nor my commentary. It'll be Daniel Bryan against Stardust. Well, wow, this should be a lot of fun. Let's watch. It's been a long simmering rivalry, John. It has indeed. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. Out here, King, you can use this whole ringside area as a weapon. Oh, yeah. Everything from the floor to the barricades can and will be used to inflict pain. He's too good inside the ring to be out on the floor for long. Welcome to another unforgettable night of WWE. Look at this! This could do... And he kicks out. And he lives to fight again. After the amount of punishment he suffered, it's simply amazing that he's still in this one. What you take and what Stardust has been going through. I can't think of too many superstars that the WWE Universe loves to hate more than this guy. Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one -on -one environment. That's a good sign. Boy, isn't that the truth. I don't even think his mother likes him. Two! This kind of offense he's known for. Yeah, you're right about that. He's made a name for himself with this. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Back in the ring now. Kick right to the hamstring. And then the knees from Daniel Bryan. Yes, yes, yes. Say it, Cole. This is vintage Daniel Bryan, right? Yes, vintage. Vintage Daniel Bryan. Now that's offense. After you're on the receiving end of something like that, you wish WWE had timeouts. I can't believe he can still go like that. 
The yes lock. Yes. 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 This is not the position you want to be in. He got him to tap out. Here's your winner, Daniel Bryan. A big singles victory here tonight. Wow, you don't see Stardust lose too many matches like that. Guys, I have to say that. Something told me we might hear from him. He does look pretty determined. Let's see what he has to say. Yeah, this should be good. Not exactly likable. Up next, we have singles action. Oh, this should be great. We have Zack Ryder against The Rock. It's about time. This is a wreck. He's moving like an uncaged animal. No lie, he's wild in there. Moves like that can upset your opponent more than hurt them. You see it all on WWE, biting, scratching, and punching like right there. Those are all the moves you used on me in our WrestleMania match, Cole. His head is taking an unbelievable amount of punishment here. Let's quickly discuss Zack Ryder for a moment. The way the WWE Universe has embraced him as one of their favorites has been absolutely amazing. He appears to have his game face on tonight, and he better, because the guy who's in the ring there with is no nonsense. Well, when you're this popular, things seem to go your way more often than not. Michael, you wouldn't understand that. Zack Ryder with some reason for concern, but not for a second do I expect him to back down now. And, Michael, this might very well be where one of these guys pulls away from the other. It's a good point, John. And I'd say this match is about as even as it could get at this point. Starting to make a statement. Think about this fact. No one in WWE history has taken fans on such a wild ride throughout his career like the great one, The Rock. The people react to him like his millions and millions of fans are in the arena with him every... This might be it. One, two, three. Unbelievable. This singles match is over. Here's your winner.
An emotional victory here tonight. Man, oh man, what a battle. What a match and 